How do you round time in Excel? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Roundup formula to do exactly that. Say we're running a company and we're billing people by the half hour. If somebody takes up 45 minutes of our time, we want to bill them for a whole hour. But if they only take 25 minutes, that's half an hour, etc. So what we're always doing is we are round up the, the amount of time it's taken to the nearest half an hour. So in order to use Roundup here, we need to know a bit about how Excel stores times because that makes this process slightly unique. Time in Excel is stored as a number and a number is a decimal fraction of 24 hours. So 24 hours is the number one. In order to round to the nearest half an hour, we are going to need to know how many half hours there are in a day. Now, there's 24 hours in a day, so there's 48 half hours in a day. So we need to round to the nearest 48th of a day and we need to round up as well. Now, if I just show you how we'll do that, so we will type in the formula roundup, spelt correctly this time, roundup. Choose the number we want to round up, which is the time. Right, and what we're actually going to do unusually is we're going to times it by 48 and then round it to no decimal places because to round to the nearest 48th of a decimal place is is very <laughs> is exceptionally difficult and can't be done with the round up formula. I mean, there are other ways to do it, but can't be done. So, if we multiply up by 48 and then round it to no decimal places, and then after we've rounded it we divide it back down by 48. That's how we've achieved a rounding to the 48th of an hour, which is half an hour. So you can see that has taken 445 and changed it to five hours. 216, we should hope two and a half hours. 22 minutes, should be 30 minutes. Yes, 30 minutes. If I drag that formula right the way down, we can rest assured that that will be uh, now the bill time. I will click on that. So that is the bill time. So now you know how to round time in Excel. There's loads more useful hints and tips on Up for Excel. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and get those Excel skills up and task times down. See you soon.